You threw them away. He's actually eating malangay. <laughs> well, no way! The, the self and this is eating the lung guy! I'm just going to get rid of the lung guy. It's The cats are not afraid of the... Yeah, the cat, there's a cat <laughs> hanging out with self and lizards oh. as they eat the lung guy. This is... What? No way! Dude, this is actually really cool. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna ask you about this. Yeah, the yeah. solar on the roof. The solar yeah, roof. Yeah, is, is that like, are you actually using it? Yeah, it's here. It's, it's two 1000 grid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the... Is it is it independent or hybrid? Or? I'm still going for, uh, still hybrid now, but it's going to be independent uh, eventually. They're using a hybrid solar, small solar system on the top of the roof here. I noticed that with the drone the other day. Anyways, it's me and Eric this morning. Just to turn off the light. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, I think it, oh. I came back last, so maybe that's okay, my fault. Okay, okay. And I forgot to turn off the lights. Oh, nice. So now I'm getting scolded. Uh, no, what's going down is me and Eric are leaving Via Hero because this morning we're on a special mission. Oh, that's nice too. Look at this. To find some lizards. I keep getting distracted by things. Let's go. I have a personal chauffeur. Meet my driver, Eric. Uh, basically, guys, what's going down is we are hunting some sailfin lizards. That's not true. We're actually just driving to Hasa'an, which is a municipality about an hour away from Kaigindu, our city. And there's supposedly a whole bunch of sailfin lizards that just come out and hang out on this big random area by a river. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. If you didn't know, a sailfin lizard is delicious. Like a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not delicious. <laughs> no, just kidding. The, the joke is a joke. We don't eat lizards. Don't eat lizards. Uh, unless they're not endangered. Are these endangered? Do you yeah. know? I, I would say they're very rare here. Okay. So these are rare lizards that supposedly somebody started like feeding a long time ago and then became friends with them and they just come out and hang out down by a river. Let's go to Hasa'an and find them. Is that correct? Did some guy feed them? By river? Is it by a river? Just past the Taigo One <laughs> River Bridge. That's the Taigo One River, no? Yeah, yeah. So the next municipality will be Villanueva, and then we're gonna hit Hasa'an, and that should be where the lizards are. It's a beautiful morning, clear day. You could even see Mount Kitanglad in the distance uh, with the drone there. Taigo One, Taigo One. Taigo One. Taigo. <laughs> There's a lot of industry here. It's the coast. We drive up the coast. Power on. <laughs> It's always hard to say Tegelo, Tegelo, yeah. Tegelo 1. Is this a beautiful barangay? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. This is so really flowers, beautiful. Nice. Holy smokes. I guess we can ask Kuya here. Excuse oh. me. Oh. Ah, sorry, it's Silpin. Silpin, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Thank you. You might be the only guy I've ever seen ask a question by fully opening the door. You could, Why? You could have rolled down the window, bro. It's more polite. Open the door. 
What? <laughs> this, this, anyway, this barunga is beautiful. This is a really beautiful barunga, man. This has to be one of the more beautiful barungas in the area. Look at this. Lots of flowers, very clean. Oh my gosh, are we allowed to break in? Okay, we found a little house here. Morning, my bintag. Dito lang kasi wala pa mang good ang government ay ano ito, ang aming munisipyo na nakakagawa ng budik. Tapos pansamantala sir na dito lang sa, sa aming bahay kasi ako po ang caretaker ng Philippine Silpin Lisa. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> pila pila katuig ang, like how long have the lizards been coming here? Like, can you smoke so good on... Um, ah, 2002. Oh, God, we do, guys. Yes. And, and, like, do you just feed them or...? Yeah. Wow, well, I didn't... Feeding a uh, banana, uh, kalamungay. Kalamungay? Uh, kalamungay leaves, yang moringa leaves. Uh, kangkong. No way, it's like... And uh, kamuti tops and wait. fish. And you eat them uh, meat. Ato, so, ano siya po po ngalan nga natin? Si... Alma. Maria uh, Alma Baron Dael. And she is the sailfin caretaker. We're about to see some lizards. I can already see one on a tree. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You got bananas, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. It's hanging over the cat. What's your pinaka favorite, do you think, of the lizards? Kang Kong. Kang Kong, really? Yeah. So, Tita Alma was saying how this morning they're still waiting for Kang Kong delivery, or will that? No, no more. Oh, no, no more. So no the more. lizards... <laughs> so they don't... <laughs> ah, so there's no order this morning at Kang Kong, so the lizards are sticking to Saba, banana. Yeah, and so many bananas. So sayang naman ang banana na ma masisira ba? Oh, so banana and banana malangay. Okay. And when do they usually come up? This this time, depends on sa sa panahon. Kung magulan sa gabi, oh. do guys sila mag magkanaog kasi naghihintay sila na mag magbilad sila sa araw. Ah, sakto. Oo, pag nakikita na sila sa araw, saka sila kakanaog magbiyan. I'm I'm so amazed that like 2002. This, this, this has been happening for 20 years. So na na Two thousand two, tapos na ano ito ng two thousand thirteen na discovered sila ng two thousand thirteen because so many people to eat them. I still can't believe this. They're eating malanga, Eric. That is the most brave cat. Yan lahat mga babae yan. So yung ganitong oras un unti unti pa yan na pupunta. Oh my gosh, look at them. He really likes bananas. Oh my gosh, this one. How do you know? How do you know which one's a uh, babae or which one's a uh, lucky? Yeah, there, there. That, all of them is female. All of these are female? Yeah. So all of those ones over here... Yes. Grabby, there's Dagan, look at them. All of those are female? Yeah, all of them are 200 of them. There's 200 lizards? 200 plus. 200 plus sailfin lizards here that come and hang out. Ito, lucky to is among... Asan, is, asan lalaki ta? Ay, yung sa, sa baba, yung sa baba at saka... Mm, 
kasar na yung dia. Hindi pa naman kumilan na yun, di ba? Wala pa. Di pa. Ano? Asa. Asa. They're in the tree or the or the. Oh, look at it's huge. Wait, is it is that a male? That's a male right there. You really love these lizards, now? Yes. Yeah. Because I love uh, animals. Ah, beautiful. Do Do you wake up every morning and feed them? Like, yes. Yes. Do you ever miss a day? <laughs> Sana, mayang kung makakita sila ng mga ganyan, pangalagaan nila. Kasi hindi natin sukat akalain na ganyan ay mayang puprotektan sila ng... <laughs> you know, this is amazing. No way. So those are the old eggs. You know, when, when we grew up as a kid in Canada, I have a sandbox. You play in the sandbox. But see the Alma has a lizard hatchery box. And that is so cool. Those are the eggs right there. Six. All from this morning. Did you see them hatch, Alma? Or... No more na. No more? Ganina sa buntag magtanawa ang hatching? Yes, yes, yes. See, you watch them climb out? Oh. It's like, just like a skin. It's like they climbed out of a skin, but... Like skin feet. Did you see on the drone the amount of factories on the coast here? That is exactly why if we come to the other side of the bridge you can see why the lizards would have gone from there over to where Tita Alma's place is. Uh, at first I was thinking, oh man, you know, maybe it's just somebody who's like, you know, feeding lizards and then kind of conditioning them and whatnot. But in this case, I mean, they lost their habitat. Uh, so her providing them an area to feel safe and comfortable is fantastic. Number two, a lot of locals would hunt them, eat them, uh, try and sell them and take them. So by her doing what she's been doing, it's actually now turned it into a conservational area and an area of education. And these lizards are benefiting. I'm sure the local community in the future and people around are going to benefit from it. It's really, really cool. It's really exciting and they're like dinosaurs. So I, again, I don't know what's going to happen here in the future, but it sounds that as of 2013, they've been protected. And now it sounds like maybe uh, the Department of Tourism and other agencies and local government units uh, might be doing some stuff involving those lizards and education, which I think is great. Because again, as you can see, the habitat has been turned into factories. So. Tita Alma, you can tell she has a really, really good heart. Really, really nice lady. Woo! It's so hot out. From Hassan, we're gonna go get some food. See you later. Okay, this is Bilar. Bilar is when you're underslept, but I'm not actually that underslept. Just I have eye bags because I'm weak because I haven't eaten anything or drank anything yet.
<laughs> I only have one question. Musab, how are you? I'm always good. He's always good. Musab's always good. I'm back in the city. I'm hungry. So I'm getting some hummus and some falafel and some things from across the street. Musab, the legend. <laughs> I didn't get the kebab, I didn't get the chicken biryani. I went vegetarian. I know Musab, if you can hear me over there Musab, I know your kebab and your biryanis are what, where it's at, but I'm going vegetarian today. Falafel, you would have seen it before. I love falafel. This is like a green salad. I actually really like this green salad. I don't know what they do with it, how they make it. But this is it, this is the one. Hummus. I love hummus. I ordered two. One's in the fridge for later because I could just eat this all day long. I actually really like uh, dipping these falafel into the hummus as well. I think I'm just going to do it right now. Wow. The best. Musab. Mm. Musab is like the friendliest Arabic guy. He's a Palestinian. Lives across the street. You would have seen him before in my videos. So friendly, so cool. Makes authentic food. I order it a lot. I'm gonna enjoy it now. I'm gonna work a bit. And then I'll see you later. It's so cool checking up on everybody. Seeing them doing, doing good. And uh, another thing you might not know, Musa plays, I keep pointing. Musa plays a lot of chess. And I used to play chess when I was younger. One of these days I'm gonna beat him. One of these days. Until then, I'll just eat his food. Okay, I just want to end this video by showing you that was the connection inside to the main breaker and out here is the inverter. They got solar. I think we mentioned it earlier in the video. That's why I want to tell you a bit more about it. So let's find Eric. So this is two components. One is here from the, from the outside, but the main components are inside. Ah. Yeah, so it's just uh, one of the inverters. I have two inverters. One here and one on the Where did you get it? Kagi Yeah, Kagi like, Is there a name of a company out of curiosity? There is, but uh, there's a lot more hobbyists than, than companies. Okay. So there's like, a, you can actually do it as a hobby to build your own. So ah, actually, so actually okay. It's super, super fun to have a DIY system. So uh, this mostly is DIY. So wait, did you did you actually kind of do it yourself as well? No, not me, but uh, the guy who I asked because it's more, more into it. So I wanted to end this video just telling you there's a grid tie uh, inverter here that ties a hybrid solar system, this thing here, whoosh, uh, into Eric's shop here. Yeah. Does it just feed into the shop? Yeah. And it's a 1.5 kilowatts and it's kind of like a do-it-yourself hobbyist style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hobbyist style. And they said they're saving like a thousand pesos a month. Okay. So maybe type right. solar power Kegia to the Facebook or maybe yeah. message, I don't know, message via Hero and yeah. if you're lucky Eric will respond. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of big companies so okay. Okay, it's easy to find. Siggy, that's cool. We're solar buddies. We have solar on the coast, they have solar in the city. Yeah, the, the, solar power. The difference is Eric's is tied into the grid and they basically reduce their electricity that they use because they're tied in whereas ours is completely off grid. So eventually we'll have a 100% system but now we're only uh, 10%, 10% solar. Cool. All right. That's it. Solar on the roof. Have a good day. <laughs>